Good morning, Dave Jack here, superintendent of Proctor County Public Schools uh, with our second edition of, um, I don't know exactly what we're calling it, but three really cool things, um, uplifting things that I, I saw this week. And I want to start with um, something at Greenville Elementary School in Miss, Miss Van Tresco's class uh, where their new SSO, um, I think his name is Mr. Culberson, uh, and I think Mr. Culberson was, Art Culberson, yeah, I think he used to be at Marshall Middle. Anyway, he took time to read uh, a book to Ms. Ventresco's class, and the, the book is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates. I love that title. And, um, and then he talked to the students about his job and his role within the school. And the reason that uh, sort of hit home with me was because, I, A, that this gentleman was willing to give up some of his time to read to some kids, but more importantly, um, those relationships with kids between the SSOs and the SROs are so incredibly important. And if students see the SSOs or SROs as sort of a partner and, and someone they, they can trust and someone that's there to help them, um, it, it just makes a huge difference. And we see, we see that over and over again uh, in, in years past with the SROs, for example, just people willing to share information with them because they trust them. And that's just, it's hugely important. Um, so another really cool thing was uh, at the school board meeting Monday, I think we had 11, 11 Eagle Scouts um, who were recognized during the, the school board meeting. And each, each um, uh, student shared what their, their Eagle Scout project was with, with the, with the uh, school board and with the, the members of the audience there. And, I just was struck by the volume of Eagle Scouts. That, that, that's a lot of people, and um, and it's a lot of work. Uh, I was not an Eagle Scout, but I understand that um, there's a lot involved with becoming an Eagle Scout. And so hats off to those kids. That was very impressive. And finally, I wanted to just mention um, the showing of a film called Most Likely to Succeed, which was um, shown at, I think, Liberty High School on, on Monday. And uh, the, the producer of this film, Ted Dindersmith, was there and stuck around after the, sh the screening um, to uh, talk to the folks who were there to, to witness the screening, mainly um, administrators in Fauquier. But it was just a really good PD opportunity. And um, Ted Dindersmith is all about what's involved in recreating, uh, you know, high schools in particular, what, 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 what schools could be like. And um, it, he's really echoing a lot of the things that we've been talking about here in Fauquier County about um, sort of changing the way we interact with kids and the way we instruct kids. And, and uh, it, it was, by all accounts, outstanding. And I'm sorry to miss it because we had the finance committee meeting and uh, the, the school board meeting. But I hope to see that, 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 uh, that film. So that's it. Those are my three things. Hope you all have a great weekend.